Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right. Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Nick here. And Chris. Don't you ever interrupt my introduction. And Chris is here, super excited for that. If you do not know, he is my younger brother. Younger, yes. But he's not my shorter brother, unfortunately. I'm the shorter one. I'm his shorter brother. And we are here for a song reaction, right? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> he's the man. All right. Very believable. <laughs> <laughs> so we are checking out a song. I think the song is called Kangal Arundal. And this has James right. and Jai in it. You know Jai, right? Everyone knows Jai. Who doesn't know Jai? Who doesn't know Jai? If you guys don't know, we're very sarcastic. So. <laughs> and this is from the film Subramaniapuram. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm sticking to. Yeah, it. I was going to say, but I'm going to go with that. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go with that, yeah. Blah, blah. And this is a film that low budget, high success, you got to love that, came out in 2008. And this is a film interest. I've never seen it before, never reacted to the trailer or anything like that, but it's about a guy in prison 28 years, comes out of prison. And right away, boom, someone shanks him outside of prison. Right oh. at the gates right Ooh. there. I think it was at the, maybe someone from the prison as he's leaving. I'm not sure. But they're baffled by that because the guy, didn't, I guess, didn't say a word to anyone while he was in prison. So they're like, man, how does someone hold a grudge for that long? So that's the gist of the film. We're not reacting to the trailer, but just a little bit for those that are reminded about this movie. We're going to check out this song. It's got the subtitles, which we love. If you're excited for our reaction, don't forget to... Yeah, like and subscribe. There we go. <laughs> there it is. You've been doing this a million times. <laughs> Synchronized in the minds. And we're going to go ahead and check this out. We're going to tell you... Subramaniapuram. What we... Wow, that was pretty good. Subramaniapuram. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I love how he says it with Let's a... Let's check it out. A little bit of like a Russian accent. Little Rush, yes. <laughs> Here we... Shmo. That's right. I gave it a Shmo. Dude, this guy's rocking. He's got the hair. Yeah, he does. S some strong Bee Gees vibes. <laughs> She's like, oh, you think you're cool, huh? Don't get run over, girl. It's a nice shirt, not gonna lie. Oh, he's got the bell bottoms. He just jacked that guy's bike. <laughs> Was that his bike? <laughs> yeah, she's still thinking about him. I've been thinking about him too with that hair. <laughs> Seriously. He's got the James Bond chest hair. That's a cool shot. That's a nice pitch. Oh, nice. Gotcha. Oh, I was looking for my dog. Wow. Oh! <laughs> I he was naked for a second! It was like, just a fan. What is going on? Seriously. Yeah, he's so cool. Dude, he could be James Bond. So suave. Oh. Woo! Really? <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> This guy is it. so cool. I love it. She, he's going to throw a bowl at her just for giving him a look. I thought it was a brick. Was that a brick? Oh, man. Even more disrespectful. Great shots. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Oh, 
தொடவும் கூடாத படவும் கூடாத இடைவெளி அப்போது wonder why he can't touch probably is out of respect I like the beat. Yeah, for sure. It's not too overwhelming, but good enough to, you know, yeah. keep, you, keep you glued. Uh-oh. He's going to leave before he gets there. I was thinking a fight scene was about to happen. It's going to be gone. Oh, <laughs> saved by Oh, the the shrine. There he is. It's like good. I assume that's his daughter. Good daughter. Way to pay respect. There's got to be some social reason why they can't be seen together. Yeah, maybe a different cast, or maybe just because she's, you know, unmarried. So what'd you think of that? I mean, I thought it was pretty chill, pretty good. Pretty chill, pretty good. Pretty chill, pretty good. Yeah, something you can definitely listen to when you need to, you know, vibe out a bit. I can see, you know, even us who don't understand language, just like listening to that, or at least me, just listening to that in the background, and yeah. just like, it's peppy. It goes much better with uh, their smiles. They both have infectious smiles. He's just so happy and so, like, excited to be around her you definitely believe the the characters really like each other and they have that instant attraction there and he doesn't even care about trying to be too cool he's just like baby my eyes are locked reminds me of like Leo DiCaprio with the Titanic where he's just like staring at her right <laughs> he doesn't want a creepy way than this guy does <laughs> but like I always thought that was like such a bold move like just to yeah. sit there and stare at a stranger it's like true. usually when you try to sneak That's a look true. when they look your way you're just like oh let me scratch my face real quick <laughs> yeah no I, I don't think I can pull that off. Just for them. <laughs> <laughs> what? I made my decision. <laughs> I made my decision. That's right. Uh, but no, I really, I really like that. I like the story that went along with it. Sometimes, a lot of times, when I'm reacting to these songs from these movies, I'm like, oh, well, I, I don't really know what's going on. And this seems pretty apparent what's going on. Um, we had questions about why they couldn't talk to one another or whatnot. Get that in the movie, obviously. Maybe some kind of custom or cultural thing. And then also with the idea of being someone being stabbed for all those years, I wonder if this was a flashback before he went to jail because so. he looks so young, right? Yeah. And then maybe he got stabbed by either the girl's father after 28 years. Maybe he got stabbed by a boyfriend or a betrothed or... It's possible. What not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I knew that would get him. Oh, my gosh. Um, all right, Hank Hill. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Um, anyways, dang it, Bobby! Dang it, Bobby! Um, 
No, uh, yeah, I, I would say if I was a betting man, I would say the dad is who stabbed him. That's what I would go with, you know, I'm gonna stay away from my daughter sort of a thing. Because it seems like pretty significant social boundaries yes. in there because, you know, otherwise, you know, like say uh, take something, what is it, Greece, where it's like an uh, you know an upper yeah, class classes. girl, you know, gets with this lower class guy. And, you know, right away, you know, they're, they're socializing, they're and together. And she stoops to his level. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what the dad would say. And, um, <laughs> you know, so it's interesting to see in this video where, you know, you have these two different social economic standings and they, they can't even, like, be seen to be, like, anything more than what their uh, social customs will allow. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah, and again, I really, I really like that song a lot. I can listen to it again and again. Let us know what your thoughts are for this song for our reaction. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Yes, take care.